Hey everyone, Justin and Cherish here. I uh, just gonna make a quick YouTube video on how I installed a fireplace on my Keystone Raptor. Um, what I did was I uh, went on eTrailer.com and bought a fireplace. Let's see if I can find some part numbers or something like that. Probably should have did that before I even took the video. But uh, yeah, there it is. Model F3216W. Um, it's an electric fireplace. <laughs> Uh, it's got a remote and all that good stuff, but uh, this is the closest one that I could find. Actually, I got on a Raptor forum on uh, Facebook and talked to a few guys that sort of did it before, and they told me to go with this, um, this particular model, because it fits perfectly as far as uh, the wideness and the depth. Um, <clears throat> but theirs that they showed me a picture of, uh, it was sticking out about an inch because of the way the hinges and all were made. I was like, you know what? I think I can make something work. So what I did, I actually had to go in here and all I did, these hinges are actually supposed to flip uh, around um, to where these hinges kind of go like go on the other side, but they're supposed to go up against the wall. Then you're supposed to put the, uh, the face plate on there and then it hides it all. But in this particular predicament, I can't do that on this uh, camper. Uh, I, I probably could, but I didn't want to add you know, pieces of wood and all that in case we wanted to take this fireplace back out of here for any particular reason, I don't know. Um, but I'm just trying to save as much as I can. So the only thing I did was uh, I removed the cabinet doors. Uh, as, as you can see, took the hinges and all off. Uh, took the hardware that is right here in the middle. That way when the cabinets close, it uh, had a little latch right here and I took all the hardware off. Um, and I ended up having to take one piece of wood out on this side to where it would fit perfectly in here. Um, so I took the piece of wood out, um, and what I had to do is I had to trim right here. As you can see, I just took a pa pair of, uh, um, metal snips like these right here. And I just cut the metal out and I actually turned the hinges around the other way. And as you can see how the bolt, how the screws go in. Um, and when I turned them around the other way, this, that middle screw there was on the opposite side. So I had a redrill another hole um, but I made it work so like I said I had to turn a piece of metal uh, flip the hinge around uh, mark and drill new uh, holes and now it's going to work so now I can have this thing all the way flush up against here and it's, I don't have to worry about trimming it out with pieces of wood or anything I'll have this nice glass face plate on the front and uh, I will take a video of that once I have the finished product um, now as far as a power, what I had to do was I took the back of this fireplace apart. Uh, it's just a bunch of screws around the back and it takes that whole back plate. Um, and what I did, instead of me drilling a, a much larger hole for the wire to go through the wall and all, um, <clears throat> as far as like, you know, your, your plug that you plug into the outlet, that will be the size hole I'd have to make that thing fit through. So instead, I went to the other side, and uh, all I had to do was take that face plate off, like I was saying. Um, go in there and snip some wires, pull this wire out, and then I drilled a hole on the back. Back here, you might can see it. Yeah, we will see it. But uh, anyways, I just went to the very top up there. That way, in case, like I said, if I want to put the cabinets back on. I can if I want to sell it later down the road you know whatever um, but like I said I, I drilled a hole in the back back here towards the top so you can't really see it because you know you're gonna be standing up you're gonna looking down into the cabinet um, unless you're you know on your knees down here then you can see the hole but it's not that big of a deal you could probably trim it uh, say if I want to fix that hole I could probably take a one of those little plastic um, circular like kind of like a push pin or whatever and it'll block off that hole i um, probably find that at a hardware store or something but anyways i don't plan on doing that so i'm just going to kind of show you guys exactly how i put this fireplace in and uh if you got any questions or anything just let me know i'll answer them as fast as i can y'all have a good day